Two Broke Rednecks present. This film is from New York. I thought it was from hell. Great, now they're gonna try to sell us insurance. So it's an instructional video on how to bend twigs. But this film said it was from New York. The liar! Their singing sounds like a stringed orchestra. These are America's future citizens. The kids they are fighting for all over the world. And they're trying to escape Nazi cuties. girls to whom we must look for leadership in our post-war democracy. Which explains why we're so screwed today. Hope for the future. So the brain damaged. Well, that explains the tea party. This is the advanced paper cutting class. But as the twig is bent, the trees incline. It says more than that. These were the boys and girls of yesterday. He looks it pretty old for being a boy just yesterday. Them in the First World War. They too might have become good American citizens, but instead enemies of society. So the poor and homeless are our enemies? Who made this film? The Republican Party? Uh -huh. Walking down a dark alley, be ashamed if someone murdered me during a robbery. Hey, it's the cop from the Monopoly board. Firing cap guns? Not on my beat! Look, he really did land on his keys. Behind every hardened criminal is a shadow of a youthful lawbreaker. Into the pattern of every major crime is woven a story of parental neglect. Uh, hello. I said the safe word about a dozen times now. Wig is bent, the trees incline. Again, not to rain on your parade, but it says more than that. The American home is fast becoming home in name only. More people are living in trailer fabulous than ever. Areas ...are faced with inadequate housing and recreation facilities. Parents working side by side in essential factories, offices, and shipyards sacrifice the equally essential job of maintaining a normal home life. Dear Johnny, I left you for another family to raise. Sick of your constant needing things like food and shelter. Love, Mom. Children of all ages are feeling the effects of war, and impressionable young minds are too often being influenced into wrongdoing. Come on, Seven. Daddy needs a new pair of Buster Browns. Following the example of older children, and learning habits and practices far too old for the years. Is it 420 already? Dear Penthouse Forums, you'll never believe what happened to my brother and me. children, without supervision, are playing hooky from school and spending their time on the streets, in theaters, and other places of amusement. Oh, those little scamps, always sneaking off to watch war pictures. T 
teenage boys and girls are leaving high schools and colleges for well-paying jobs. How dare they earn a living wage right out of school? Pockets filled with money, these young people are seeking dangerous thrills and excitement in semi-darkened taverns. Unlike those completely darkened taverns which only the poor go to. They should stay home and <coughs> enjoy their harmless cigarettes. Young, romantically inclined girls, confused by the hero-worshipping spirit of wartime, are finding it hard to resist the glamour of military uniforms. So military men should stay single and wank it? We now return to Bowling for Dollars. Is this where he tells her to put out because there's a war on and he might not make it back? Boy meets girl romances culminate in hasty marriages with short and hectic honeymoons. But on the upside, they got cake! Boys and girls in their late teens and early twenties are victims of war's restlessness. Honey, we may already be a winner. They become more than friends. The boy is ordered to duty miles from home, and the girl returns to the comparative monotony of school or work. He's a pinball wizard. In spite of their good intentions, these young people often find themselves in dangerous situations during their leisure time. In a world Dad, of open my carton of cigarettes. It's parents' duty to equip the younger members of the family for the post-war task ahead. It is more important today than ever before to maintain a normal home life. But what no is normal? and escape the responsibility of guiding the next generation to maturity. So tell them what to think and say. If you must be away from home all day, place your children in a community care center, kindergarten or elsewhere, in the charge of competent, understanding supervisors. So avoid so ones that create childhood trauma. If you move to a new neighborhood, find out with whom your small children are playing and meet their parents. This way you can keep them away from those pesky Raise poor people. Your children to respect the law rather than to fear it and to regard the policeman as their friend. Tell them to give him gifts such as money so he'll look away from their shenanigans. Teach growing boys and girls the true value of money. Have them start their own savings accounts and invest part of their allowance in war stamps. In which a few so years then, will be worthless. Our systematic saving program will help them attain the things they want and provide for their future security. Encourage your children to read good literature by subscribing to wholesome magazines and by having them join your local lending library. Playboy's a wholesome magazine. No, it's not. It's wholesome to me. Fap, fap, fap. And one day, Timmy, I'll get you the entire track so you don't have to push his boxcar around. So this film is about turning young people into old people? Join your local parent-teacher association. Attend the meetings regularly and participate in its activities. And call out anyone you didn't like as a commie and check with them frequently to make sure your boys and girls are attending school regularly and on time. Get reports on their activities so you know you didn't raise a pinko. Help keep your older sons and daughters out of trouble by encouraging them to bring their friends to your home. Insist on meeting your daughter's dates and learn something about their backgrounds and associations. 
But your sons can go out with any old Whatever slut. Whatever your religious faith, train your children to attend church services regularly. But what if we're atheists? by going with them as much as possible. As parents, you can render no greater service to your country than by providing a wholesome, normal home life for your children. He's doing time in Sing Sing now. Hey, you guys. It's a young Cisco Ebert. It's the creepy German guy from Raiders of the Lost Ark. His education forms the common he was killed by his troops in Korea. The trees incline. Do they have a policy for people who died of boredom from watching this film? No. Well, damn. Dear Bark Rednecks, we don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better.